Hi everyone, my name is Noah and I'm a 15 year old amateur astrophotographer and I live in southern Minnesota and I do most of my imaging under my Bortle 6 backyard skies. So I want to get back into my YouTube channel and start making videos about astrophotography um, because I got into this hobby about a year ago when I was 14 and I want to share some of my experiences and and some of my journey, my astrophotography journey on YouTube. And so I want, for my future YouTube plans, I just want to, I want to get back, more back into YouTube and start uploading more consistent videos and better videos, higher quality. And I just want to share more about my astrophotography journey now that I've been in it for a year. Okay, so my astronomy hobby started basically on my 13th birthday. That was when I got this telescope. This is the Celestra Nexstar 130 SMT. Um, it's a four inch reflector telescope, which means light enters the front, it goes to the back. And there's a mirror in the back, it reflects to the front. And there's a mirror at the front that reflects into this eyepiece on the side. And I use this to look at the moon and the planets and observe craters of the moon. And that was really it, because those were the only bright things I could visually see with my eye. And then I also got this, this little phone mount, so you can put this on your eye, on the eyepiece. And I can put my phone up to it, and I can take pictures with my phone of like the moon, and then even some of the planets. So, um, I did that for a while, and then that was really all, all I could do because I had this telescope meant for visual on this little a little mount. And this mount also can go to an object using this hand controller. This is a go-to all azimuth mount, which means it does it just goes up, down, left, and right movement. And I did that for basically that entire year. By the end of 2019, when I was 13 years old, my dad and I wanted to start getting into astrophotography because we saw how cool it could be. So my dad actually got the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro. And what this is, it's a little star tracker that you um, put it on a tripod pointing in here at the North Star Polaris. And then this, and then this tracks the rotation of the sky. And you can put a small telescope or lens on here to image deep sky objects. So that's what my dad did. And we got this Space Cat 51 telescope. This is a APO refractor telescope with, um, I, I believe, four lenses inside for color correction. And we would have this on our our Skywatcher Star Adventure and the Canon EOS Level T7i, which is the camera I'm going on. And we have astro modified that camera actually, so it would it would pick up more um, infrared light, which is very common in emission windows all throughout space. And we basically just take a setup and image a few targets in the fall season. 19. By the end of 2019, I wanted to start doing astrophotography on my own with my first telescope, my Newtonian. So I wished for Christmas and my my 14th birthday to get an equatorial mount. And I was very fortunate to get this equatorial mount here. This is the Celestron ABX go-to mount. And I got this for Christmas of 2019. And this equatorial mount is good because it has go-to functions inside of it as well as plate solving, which is a method where you take a picture of the stars and then you determine where you are in the sky and a few other advanced things in this mount that I can use. So this equatorial mount works by you point it at Polaris North Star and then you have this axis right here. This is the RA axis and this entire thing rotates along this axis 
that's that's the same rotation that we see in the sky. And then this axis right here, this is declination. This is where you put your telescope. And then this axis turns like this. And both these functions um, are used together to point to any object in the sky. And for my 2020 birthday, my 14th birthday, I got this CWO ASI 183 camera. This is um, an uncooled color camera with a one inch diagonal sensor. And I also got this filter. This is the Absalon L Pro. It's a 1.25 inch light pollution filter that will help cut out some light pollution from the arboreal six skies. And then I used all this new equipment with my first telescope. And I took pictures of some galaxies and some nebula in the first half of 2020. Around to the middle of 2020, I decided to experiment with using my camera and my dad's telescope, which is much wider than my Newtonian. And this also is an apochromatic refractor. And my Newtonian is a reflector. And I started using this, and then I started loving it. I started loving how the wide field and the image quality of my pictures. And I started using this setup throughout the rest of the year. And I was able to get really good, better, better images. And I was able to come up with more processing techniques to get better image results. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned a little bit about me how I want to grow my YouTube channel. And I hope you stick around with my astrophotography journey and my future videos to come. Thank you. Bye.